Let's bring in Emma Jane before I put my foot in it even further. <laughs> Emma, good evening to you. Hi. Now, you've been watching the media event of the night, François Hollande on network, primetime French television. Um, has the country been watching? Well, it's hard to judge. It certainly didn't look too impressive to begin with um, because ordinarily, if there's a big national television event, then Twitter is flooded with people talking about it. But at the start of this programme, 90 minutes of talking politics, it's not the sexiest thing in the world uh, when it comes to choosing your evening's viewing. Um, it was pretty quiet out there on Twitter land. Um, what we were seeing were some things like this. Uh, whose idea was this programme? No one's going to come out the winner uh, and no one's going to be uh, rejoicing in it. Um, boring, says this Twitter user with an excellent gif to illustrate that, how they felt That looks about like a scene program. from Spongebob Squarepants. Indeed. It's all coming out with you tonight, isn't it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> elsewhere, why am I doing this to myself? Dialogue Citoyenne was the name of the programme. Cit a citizen's Dialogue. Um, it's fairly self-explanatory exactly what that means. The idea was that Francois Hollande would be answering the questions that the people of France want to put to him. Um, now, he did say during the programme that things are going to get better, and they did a little bit on Twitter. As we see here, Hollande's not truly as bad as I imagined he was going to be. <laughs> That's about as good as it got, really. Um, but to put it into context of, of exactly what the situation is for Francois Hollande right now, he is the least popular French president since they started taking polls on these matters. Um, and the latest poll for Le Parisien had 76% of French people saying that they didn't think he should stand again in 2017. 76%? Yes, and even those who normally vote uh, left, which is François Hollande, en principe, in mm. principle, 66% um, said they still wouldn't want to vote for François Hollande, didn't want him to run in 2017. So that gives you an idea of the scale of the problem that he's facing. Uh, and if we take a look at this poll from 20 Minute, uh, are you going to watch François Hollande this evening on the television? 85% of people said no. Almost 10% said they might uh, click over during the adverts. And just under 5% said that they had no uh, intention of watching it whatsoever. I watched, in spite of the tempting rugby match on one of the other channels, <laughs> and the preparation I had to do for this programme. Um, Tell us a bit more about the high points. Were there any high points, really? But we got there in the end, but it was a bit of a slow burner. Um, some of the most interesting points actually came about because there were real people involved in this debate. Because um, often the journalists can be a little bit tame, can't they? Yes. They're, they're, and they're kind of on, on message in many ways, aren't exactly. they? Exactly. Now, it was fairly limited. There were only four real human beings there, if you like. Um, one of them a National Front voter. Um, now, Antoine de Meyer said uh, this, that three quarters of Front National votes are votes of anger. France is sick, he said. We've tried several doctors. Now, according to this Twitter user, he thought this was the best quip from the French president all night. His response was, be careful not to take a doctor who will kill the patient. That's so a good line. That's probably his best line of the night. Um, other things that got people talking a lot was the fact that um, one of the real people invited there to talk to Francois Hollande was the mother of a jihadist who had been killed in battle, if you like, um, and some questioning whether really that should have been the priority for the French people this evening. Um, others asking uh, about Francois Hollande's comment that we shouldn't think of poverty as being the thing that induces radicalization. Some people thought that was a strange thing for him to have come out with. Um, others saying that she shouldn't have been there at all, that she shouldn't have, have taken the place, if you like, of a trade unionist who was cancelled at the last minute, as was a farmer. Of course, unionists involved in all of those protests against changes big, to employment Big farming law. protests, of course, throughout the exactly. year Exactly. Yeah. And they were both dropped at the last minute, but this mother of a jihadist was there. Um, of course, it is one of the great issues of the day. I was going to say, you, people... you can't doubt that it's a massive issue at the moment. Exactly. So it, it, it belonged there, I think. But right towards the very end of the programme was really when all of the big stories, if you like, came out. And these are the things that are going to be followed up tonight and tomorrow and into the future. Uh, Manuel Valls, the Prime Minister, had said yesterday he wanted the headscarf uh, to be banned in universities because France is a sec secular country. We shouldn't be using religious symbols, as he put it. Um, Francois Hollande said, no way. Uh, this Twitter user says, are the cracks showing? Well, I think the cracks are there and have been there for quite some time. Uh, the other thing that he said quite close to the end of the 
programme is that he would decide whether he ran in 2017 at the end of 2016. So a lot of hype. Did it live up to its expectations, do you think? Well, it's hard to say, but certainly the hype was fairly impressive. Uh, France 2, the national broadcaster who actually showed this uh, programme, put out some very glitzy promos, and it wasn't really in keeping with what you expect from 90 minutes of talking about politics, essentially. But this was one of the promos that, that was put on air um, in the days preceding this programme. Uh, and the fact that the presenters are doing quite a bit of uh, posturing, shall we say, got a lot of attention. Le Petit Journal is a satirical, very funny comedy programme here in France that looks uh, takes a sideways look, really, at, at the big news here. Um, and they pointed out, uh, they said, this exceptional event um, has us all folding our arms like the Americans and uh, has the, the gif of them there posturing. And if we scroll down, this is how they saw it. This is their version <laughs> of what was going on. So really, the journalists came in for quite a bit of stick, and that continued tonight. Uh, Lea Salame was uh, called aggressive rather a lot, uh, and here is uh, what's deemed to have been her reaction. Perhaps she was trying to offset the fact that she's known to have had lunch on at least two occasions with Francois Hollande, so maybe she didn't want to appear too friendly. Let's hope she didn't lose her lunch knife like that young lady there. Emma, thank you very much indeed.